<laughs> hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Orpheus uh, Brewing and they are out of Atlanta, Georgia. So people have requested this brewery before and uh, recently Florida we got a big ship and a, a bunch of their beers and this one's actually not that fresh. It's about a month and a half and this is Transmigration of Souls Double IPA and they say it has an uh, absurd amount of aromatics, orange, lemon, tropical fruit with a dry malt body. That's how they describe it. We'll see how it turns out. I smell it. Oh, no, good. Yeah. Nice. It's very tropical. Lives up to the uh, the hype of aroma, at least. But it's not always in the aroma. It's the taste that I yeah. go for. So the beer comes in a uh, medium to medium plus haziness. It comes in a medium cold color. Looks pretty nice, actually. Looks a bit New Englandy ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, not bad. Yeah, definitely get some of that pineapple, some mango, kamaquat, orange, grapefruit even. I get uh, dried orange, uh, sort of mango slices, like unless you buy the mm -hmm. supermarket. Um, a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a grapiness going to it. But it's sweet. It's nice. It's got like, again, dr uh, dry tropical fruits, uh, mango, uh, nice intensity, apricot, pineapple. And this isn't supposed to be, yeah, this isn't supposed to be a New England style, but it does carry the aroma of a New England style and that it's super juicy and not very dry. A little bit of dryness, I think, in the aroma. They don't advertise it as such, but it might just straight up be. I mean, it looks, it, it looks and smells like the animal. I'm going to, I'm going to go off of what they're telling me it is yeah. versus what I think it is. Boom. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's clean. Or um, yeah. drinkable. It's drinkable. Eight percent. Yeah. Um, Pretty clean drinkable. Has some of that like New England style thing going on with like the creaminess of it. Um, it's not. Uh, this is a New England IPA. Let's not mess around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a bit boozier though. It's a bit boozier, and there's like some rich depth of hops in there, like yeah. right up front. It's just kind of like pow right in the kisser. There's a little bit drying booziness on the back end, but the beer is actually can be dangerously drinkable for eight percent. It's not chewy, not overly sweet, not overly sticky, right? I mean, then again, I crush hurricanes, so I don't know. This is good. This is better. So hoppiness is not as defined as the nose. It drives more with that kind of mango, apricot, light pineapple notes in there. Um, not quite tart, but not uh, uh, too sweet either. Uh, the malt is actually quite hidden on this one. Mm -hmm. on the back end. Really? I don't agree. I don't agree on that the malt is hidden. I think especially like right up front, there is almost like a multi-grain crackery taste. Oh, really? Taste to I get it. more like brioche, like sweet. Yeah, I mean... Or hala. I mean like or... right up front when it first hits your tongue. Yeah, like a sweet burniness. Mm. Um, but then it has a nice dryness to it and then the booze kind of like rings in to finish out the beer. It's very dry. Mm -hmm. Very dry. That's not my. I wouldn't say that's like definitely New England style. Then if it's so dry, is there is there a take on New England? No, it's their take on a double. Is there a take on New England IPA? I mean, there, well, like, there's no bitterness here. Or there's no there's you know really like caramel malt in here. There's it's not traditional. I IPA. think this is one that we like the first one that we really super disagree on. Like I definitely taste taste maltiness. I don't taste the the New England style. I mean, it has like aspects of a New England to me. But I don't. I wouldn't compare this to like M forty three, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, like or really almost anything out of Ellipsis. Um, yeah. What's your final impression rating on this one? Mm. But that being said, it's not a terrible beer. No. A little bit um, of minerality you're driving there. Yeah. It's um. Hmm. It's interesting. Um. Just kind of got like a. It's such a like quick. You know, palate change there. Like snappy. Release. Yeah, like it's just like really quick. I mean, it's it, to me it's like malty, and then it's just like, you know, citrusy, and then dry. Like you know, but it's like the span of just a couple of seconds. Um, so I mean, I, I enjoy the roller coaster of, of flavor and aroma in this one. Um, does not meet the nose on the palate, um, in my opinion. Oh, totally there. different. Mm -hmm. um, I think overall I would give it uh, eighty nine. Okay. Um, this to me is almost like an East meets West Coast kind of thing going on. In New England meets West Coast. It's a little too dry, so it has that West Coast kind of vibe to it. Um, 
it does have the malt interplay like a traditional East Coast IPA, which is another conversation. You guys interested in that one? We'll, we'll maybe uh, do a video on that one. And then it has that New England kind of haze, the aromatics, the tropical fruits to it. So it's a little bit of that kind of um, you know dryness of West Coast meeting the East Coast uh, fruitiness. Uh, wish it was a little bit more bombastic. Again, I, I think I just have to find a better retailer because this beer was on the dry, uh, warm shelf and mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It seems it's to be like bad. a horrible way to store IPAs. Yeah, um, it's like putting it's like putting like fresh orange juice on the shelf. You just don't. yeah, it's like putting it's it's yeah, it's, it's basically like putting orange juice in the regular part of the supermarket. Yeah, versus, on, yeah. on the dry shelf. Yeah, a month and a half in. Oh, well, yeah. a month and a half in, nobody fermented about that. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then you have like some yeah. weird ass orange wine. But know. um, uh, it's, it's it's quite nice. I think I enjoy it. Uh, the spirit for me gets a ninety two. I think it's actually quite delicious from Orpheus. Uh, post in comments below if you'd like to uh, see us do some more other Orpheus uh, brews. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. Mm -hmm.